Greetings, this is Mr. Solomon with another edition of Minecraft EDU for schools. Today we're working with a group of third graders and we're working on creating a blueprint and being able to import those into Minecraft. So we're talking about 21st century skills. They're using collaboration, communication, and especially creativity. So here is our plan. So on Monday, students drew a blueprint with Pixie. They finished their drawings. We then exported those drawings as JPEG files on Wednesday. And then we went to the Create Tubbles website, which I've created accounts for each uh, computer station. We uploaded those into Create Tubbles, and then they have a mod that lets you import it. So, here's the guide for their buildings. I'm making sure that they're not making houses that only have four sides. Students tend to make boxes, squares, and rectangles. So I'm trying to stretch their thinking. And the same thing with the roof. So I'm asking that their roofs not be flat. So this is giving them more of a challenge. So then we made our drawings in Pixie. I gave them the steps on how to export, how to save. Okay, and then we went to create tubbles. And then here is how we add them into Minecraft. So we get the creator mod, we use 64 sheets of paper. This is what the creator mod looks like. So we'll change these to 10. These numbers will change to 10. And so 10 by 10 requires 25 sheets of paper. Then we always go through our Minecraft rules, Minecraft settings, and now we'll get into the game and we'll see how they did. So this is a large workspace. I put it in, uh, build mode. So you can see students imported their pictures and then they're being asked to create that in Minecraft. So they're making their own drafts. So if you look at this house here and then we float up in the air and see they're starting to build it. Here's another example. Not quite sure the orientation of that house. But that's part of what they're learning. So this is the first time I've done this with a class. I think if I do this again, it started on just designing a house, and that was a little too challenging with top view and side view. So then we changed it to just adding a blueprint. So we come up here, we can see the extent of each student's drawing. I'll show you how to make these at the end of this video. So we're just going to cruise around and look at what everybody's doing right now. So there's a blueprint. Doesn't quite look accurate, but they're getting there. So there's a house. If we look up, that's pretty close. So that house looks really close to what their blueprint looks like. So you can see some students have a better orientation than others on how they're doing this. Looks like somebody was absent. Okay, that's the creator mod, you can see. Here's another example. So it's really interesting to use this creator mod because kids can see their own art inside the game, which is something pretty rare. So some of their blueprints are more detailed than others. And then we can see how close it looks to their plan. Uh, there's the drawing, and there's the building. Not quite sure if we have enough time to finish these, but we may come back next time I see these students. That's the challenge, is getting these projects done within five days, because I only see classes Monday through Friday, and then I don't see them again for another five weeks. So it takes some time. So as we cruise around, you can just see what everybody's houses looks like. And then I'll show you how to make one of these. So I'm going to find an empty space. Let's cruise around and check out a couple more, couple more groups. I always like recording when kids are in the room so you can kind of see what they're doing. This is a good example. See, that one looks pretty good. That looks close to their drawing. Okay, so let's show you how to make one of these walls. 
So the first step was to go into Pixie and export to images. You can do that with any file, really. It doesn't matter what drawing program you use. And then once you have that, you then go to the Create Tubbles website, which I'll show you. We then upload our creations onto the Create Tubbles website. Okay, so I'm logging in. There are 30 computers in our lab, so each one has a separate login. I'll hit the plus sign. I'll hit add a creation. I'll choose a file if I have it exported on my desktop, and then you can find it. So that's how those files get uploaded. And then if we get back into Minecraft, we can then build ourselves a wall. I'm going to use fill and clear, because as a teacher I can do this pretty quickly. I'm going to choose some wool. So when you use fill and clear, you can right click on one spot, and then right click on another, and it fills it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm off by three. And then if I right click here, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So first we build a ten by ten wall. That's the first step. Okay. Next step is to go in your inventory and I added a mod called Creatables or Creator. I'll put a link to that mod on the description on this video. And then I also need paper. The trick here is in creative mode, if you hold the shift key down and then click, you get all 64 sheets. That's what I want. So I'm going to place down this creator mod. I'm going to right click on it. It's logging me in with my name and password. I'm going to change this to 10. I'm going to change the height to 10. Now you can see that this connects to my account. So if I take one of these and click it, and then take all my paper, even though I only need 25 sheets, 64 does the trick. Click the create checkbox, drag that down into my inventory slot. And then if I right click on a corner, I then see my picture. So that's how you can import drawings using the creatable mod. And then I'll start building based on what I just drew. So it's a good project. I'm going to do more of this, have kids do all kinds of, there's all kinds of possibilities you can do. Drawing blueprints, drawing houses, designing cities, designing villages. So next year we'll do some more with uh, using student artwork into Minecraft. Thanks for watching.